Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahirrabbilalamin Wassalatu wassalam ala ashrafil anbiya wal mursalin Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in Kala rabbi syrah li sadri wa yassir li amri Wa halal u'latan min lisani Wa qawli Kala Allah ta'ala fihil kitabihil aziz Iskala Yusuf Ya bihi ya abati inni ra'aitu ahda asyar kawkaban Samsa wal qamar Ra'aituhum nisajidin Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh And a very good morning to all of you here Uh, I hope you are fine. Uh, I hope you enjoy your journey. I hope you enjoy in Nadia's hotel today. Uh, because um, Langkawi is uh, the one of the most beautiful island in Malaysia. I have been there for um, many times because um, I am the Kedahan. Saya orang Kedah. Okay, I'm from Kedah. So Langkawi basically is uh, my um, my brother's home. My brother's home. Um, he just uh, moved there since two thousand and two until two thousand before he moved to uh, Rau in Pahang. So Langkawi is the best place for family. The best place for vacation. So enjoy, enjoy your vacation and enjoy your conference now. So uh, first of all, I uh, I want to say sorry because um I cannot been there because I'm test positive a day just before uh, this conference uh, we we will help. Uh, actually, I'm on my way to Kuala Kedah and take ferry for. To go to Langkawi, but then um, I have a, I have a, I have flu. My wife got fever. My sons, my daughter also got flu. And they cough. So when we uh, test in our way to uh, Kuala Muda, so all of us positive. So I'm really sorry. I I. I really want to meet my friends. I really want to meet you because I, we just plan plan to to attend this conference so long. Last year we plan it, and then we 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 uh, collect the papers, and then we we make a correction and so on. So this is a good opportunity. We 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 can meet and meet and and, and do some uh, networking. So the second. Secondly, I want to uh, say thank you, a very big thank you to Edutech Group because give me this opportunity. This is the the one of the most memorable, the best things that I have in my life because I this is the first formal I give the keynote in a international conference. So a big thank a a big applause and I'm, I'm, it's my honor for me to be your keynote speaker for today. So I think, um, I hope that I can deliver my uh, speech, uh, whenever it is, I hope it will give us some knowledge and we, I just share what I've done for years. I've just shared what I've done for uh, special education actually. And then uh, I hope you enjoy it. And if you got some, um, question or some um, uh, some statement or some suggestion you want uh, to, to share with me, you just share with me uh, through email or WhatsApp, okay? So for today, I would like to share my, um, my research about uh, uh, educational leaderships for special education. Um, Here in Malaysia, we have educational leaderships, but um, educational educational leaderships that focus us focus on uh, special education is a, a little bit um, uh, it's not much as uh, educational leaderships uh, normally for normal school or typical school. Special education is special one. Okay, so now I would like to share with you my um, my. My slide. So this is um this is me. So I think uh, I I'm 
uh, most of the presenter that we have here, we just have been in uh, in this conference with Edutech Group for so uh, so many years, right? You you remember my my face? Yes, we have. Uh, I think we start on uh, 2018, 2000, and then we go for 2019, 2020, 2021, and now 2022. Especially for the presenter from uh, Upsi, right? We have been together for a long, long, long time for years. Okay, so this is me, Dr. Muhammad Nur Azmi bin Nordin. I'm a special education lecturer for Center for the Study of Education and Community Welfare. Faculty of Education, University of Bangsa Malaysia. So this is international conference on recent trend in education, technology, innovation, and social science. So what I have to, what I have participated uh, for for this years is uh, for education and also for social science because this is educational leadership for special education for disabilities for MBK Murid Berkebunan Khas, okay, here in Malaysia. So um. Is my uh, this is UKM. So if you have never been here, so this is my university. This is University Kebangsaan Malaysia. Is um the one of um uh, public university in Malaysia, and we are a research university. So research for for UKM is a, is the core, is the core business, uh, alongside with um um. Alongside with teaching and, uh, and so on. So, this is uh, the one chancellor when uh, all the graduates will have their convocation here. This is uh, my faculty, Faculty Pendidikan. It just looks like um, a school, right? The first time I've been in uh, Faculty Pendidikan, Faculty of Education, uh, it seemed like, uh, did I? Uh, in a school, because the, the, the building, uh, the landscape is just like a school. So it's good for special uh, for, for faculty of education because it belongs to schools. The graduate students, and when they finish their study here, and they will uh, go to school. So this is uh, my autobiography, it's a little bit um, I am the PhD holder in a special education leadership and a former academic teacher, a former academic teacher at Batu Pahat Special Education Schools in Johor, Malaysia. I've been there for, for 10 or 11 years in school teaching special, uh, special needs students, special needs pupils. So I've been with them um, for a long time. I really love them. I really like special education. Uh, as most I'm, uh, I like myself, I love them because they teach me more, more than what I teach them. So um, I'm successfully complete my PhD studies within two years, um, which is um, I'm I'm write a, a, an ebook for my um, my PhD journey in two years actually. My thesis complete in eighteen months, but two years, uh, but another six six months, uh, I, sp I spend spend it for my uh, my articles. Okay, currently working as special education lecturer at uh, Center for Study of uh, Education and Community Wellbeing, Faculty of Education, UKM, and um I am the founder of Scarf Style. If you want to know more about Scarf Style, we can do one more keynote speaker special for this Scarf Style. Quick thesis writing techniques is just a technique. It's not a final uh, method. It's just technique. Receive invitation from various universities and our submission as speakers. And this is the first formal keynote speakers that I have invited for. And I, and I also editor in chief for special education journal as and as editor robot in five generation journals. So this is my ebook that I spoke to you about uh, the scarf technique. And then, so this is my um, uh, what I like would like to share with you today about the special education uh, needs and values needed in uh, special elements. Need, that needed in a special education leadership. 
Okay, so this is the introduction. Leading an educational organization is a challenging task and requires a competent leader. As I said before, uh, in special education, we are dealing with uh, students that um, have a special needs for their learning. Okay, so I've been uh, for 10 years with um, uh, autism pupils, with uh, Down syndrome pupils, uh, also with um, uh, hearing impairment students, uh, visual impairment students. So in managing this, uh, this kind of pupils, this kind of students, is a challenging task. For me as a teacher, when I'm, um, I've, been with, I've been with my students, special needs students, it's, it's more about uh, to teach them how to, to manage their, their life. We're not focusing on the academic, but we are focusing on their, on their life. How they can uh, manage their self for their own life. So now, maybe they, they, they still have their parents, they still have their siblings, but in the future, when uh, they have to manage it alone by themselves. So that is the core business, that is the core, uh, the core skills that we are teach, or teaching them. So to manage these this students, the pupils with a lot of uh, disabilities, uh, amongst them, uh, not only, only one disabled, but they have multiple disabilities. So this is very challenging. So for this, uh, for this task, the teachers is very burdened, is very, very, very hard to, to, uh, to manage the students. So the leaders of the school have to have to this um, this kind of, of feeling of this kind of values that, that they, they, they want to lead. For example, when, when they uh, see, when they saw the teachers, uh, it's hard, it's struggle to teach the, student, the students, they, as a leader, they have to feel that um, when, uh, if I am a teacher that I um, that teach the students, so what, what is, is, is the, the feelings? How, how is it going on? So, they have they need a special value to lead the special educations okay so this is um, some of my students some of my former students when i'm a teacher in special education schools this is um, um uh, learning disabilities uh, some of them uh, have uh, autism some of them are uh, down syndrome and the, the middle one is a specific uh, disorder and um, he, he got his problem with his nerve and and and, and his uh, physical. So this is my one of my students. He is um, physically disabilities. Uh, the doctors uh, he 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 suffered for 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 a um a disease that the doctor says that this the students only only can live for for maximum 15 years 15 years old so uh, time to time the physically uh, ability, his physical ability uh, in, uh, decrease so um, from from um, he he can he can um, uh, hold hold the, his leg but now even his hand, he can't lift it. So, so it's a problem for, for him. There is a challenge, it's a big challenge for teachers to manage these uh, students, this kind of students. So as a leader in school, uh, you, you lead the schools, so you have to know this one. You have to, to, to have the elements, love, empathy, and so on, because you're dealing with disability students. So, this is also one of my students, and back there is my friends, teachers, and then uh, also teachers. So this is my students also, Down syndrome, autism, and um, this, this, uh, this chomel one, this cute one. 
uh, in white shirts, with white uniform, uh, uh, is autism. Uh, he can't speak uh, perfectly. He can. He, he just. Uh, uh, his voice is only a sounds, without without a language. So many, many um, research, many studies that shows. Uh, the the importance of um, school school leader to have uh, some value that that we that they can bring it the school to bring the teachers uh, the students to 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 a, a better um, a better environment in school so we got Angela 2010 2014 and also some uh, scholars. The Hers, uh, like Hersey and Blanchard, uh, introduced uh, the situational leadership style that um, yeah, I I I um, I use in in my my study. Uh. So uh, this is a kind of activity. So it's really managing a special education uh, special needs students is is challenging, but most of of the time is is is, is a fun, a memorable. So this also my students and the findings. Okay. Uh, these studies, I'm using um, a qualitative studies. I mean, to view um, uh, the school leader, special education uh, school leader. And then I also uh, interview the teachers, parents, and also um, uh, the we call pembantu pengurusan murid, the teachers and assistant in the class. So based on the finding, we we find that there are five teams that result, namely love. So as a school's leader for special education, you have to to have love, caring, sensitivity, friendliness, and cooperation network. These five elements, are specific elements, and added value needed in leadership and special education in every situation, every situation. So I highlight that is every situation. Uh, whatever is, is hard, whatever um, the school goes on, whatever the environment it is, but uh, you, you have to, to the, the, the respondents um, agreed that you, as a school leader for special education, you have to, you have to have these five values, five elements you have. You have to have love, caring, sensitivity, friendliness, and cooperation network in every situation. So this is kind of activities. Um, so this is five uh, added element for special educational leaderships. If and it's the typical special uh, educational leaderships, we just uh, we have the elements, the basic elements. But these five we added for if we want to lead the special education. So, um, so as a discussion, through the thematic analysis conducted, there are five elements, okay, as mentioned. Um, all these elements are result by analysis made of transcript interviews of respondents involved. Okay. So, um, there are five additional elements. Okay, overall, they note that elements not had an impact on the success of special education management. So you have to, to feel that you, you have to love the students because if you don't love the students, you, you don't want to, to take note about what, what their needs. If you, if you love them and uh, you will, uh, you will uh, get to know all about them. So from there, if you lead them, students or teachers, so it will become the most, is the better environment for, for your leaderships, for your leaderships environments. So same goes to, uh, same goes to caring, sensitive, friendly, and cooperative networking. So this is a, not just a, you lead a school, but you lead the school, the environment, and you lead the the peoples in the special education. So 
if you have these five element, you can lead all together, all them together, and you you can be you can bring the schools for the the the, the lovely environments. So all the teachers happy to to come to the school, all the students happy to be in school, and and so on. So these five elements uh, you need to add on to your leadership style, your lead your leadership behavior because. This file we we get it will give you the best result for your leadership, your own leaderships. Okay, so because this is an online presentation, so I think uh, I think uh, uh, we can't go we can't go for 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 a long period because it's not. Uh, it's also not uh, satisfactory for satisfactory for me. I'm not satisfied because it's online. If we have face to face, then we can discuss more about this one. So I think uh, that's all uh, what I can what I can share with you. And then uh, I hope uh, you enjoy this conference. And a big thank you, a big thanks to Edutech Group again because give me this a big big opportunity to be the formal keynote speaker in the international conference so thank you happy conferencing so happy discussions okay so um all the best and good luck for the presenter okay hope we'll hope we Till we meet again, uh, and all the best. Thank you.